we are now going into the ninth day here that Vladimir Putin has pretty much just vanished. Now, all the journalists out here, everyone's got their theories, wondering exactly where he's at, what went down. Different outlets, different stories. A lot of those stories at the gate turned out to be false, dead ends, like with the baby, with him uh, having a stroke. Apparently, they're saying he's just fine. He's not incapac incapacitated. And they keep insisting that there's nothing wrong with him and that he will be on schedule Monday in St. Petersburg where he will attend a meeting. And they say it, it will probably be to the disappointment of journalists everywhere. But, uh, you know, who knows at this point the exact reason. He may show up and surface, still say nothing about it and just let the mystery linger because at this point it seems like that's what they want they could very easily give a reason something better than what they've given at this point now what it brings up though is what happens when Vladimir Putin is gone this is macho man horseback rider, mountaintop, you, you know, a man's man. It's how they portray him. He has no weaknesses. I've said this before. And even if he was sick, they would not want to portray that to the world. They would rather just him disappear and everybody wonder and mystery and have their own theories, no matter how crazy they were. Rather than show that Vladimir Putin at 62 years old here, is not Superman, and that he can fall ill. And if Putin did die, right now or any day, the power would, in theory, pass to Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, who, under the Russian Constitution, would then have three months to organize a presidential election. Now, he already held the job technically from 2008 to 2012. And if anything happened to Putin, he would be in position to take over again without having Putin over his shoulder. He would just be at the reins. And it would be in Russia's best interest in an event like this to have a smooth transition to power, not a power struggle that someone else could come in and try to take advantage of and topple them. They cannot let history kind of repeat itself in their country. But at the same time, you know, Putin remains, and this is talking if Putin was to die, you know, he could, you know, show back up and live his life on out until the next election, somebody else come into play. But, like I said, Putin at 62 is no Superman, and anything could happen. And like I said before, he could be just as easily sick or going on a secret vacation. And if he was sick, they're not going to portray that weakness. Not Russia here in this instance. But yes, a new face behind Russia, or for Russia, Medvedev. Certainly wouldn't be anything like a Vladimir Putin Russia. You know, he's very symbolic in terms of this country and when it comes to world leaders. Well, I'll leave links with more information, keep you guys posted as I hear of more pertaining to Vladimir Putin. But as of right now, they're saying, hey, Monday morning, he's going to be right back on the scene, St. Petersburg, in this meeting. Now, if he doesn't show up then, wow. You know the conspiracy theories have started to fly. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu7. Peace.